Thanksgiving is a time of reflection and gratitude, a time when we come together with family and friends to express our appreciation for the blessings in our lives. Reflecting on this year, we can truly say that we have witnessed the evidence of God's goodness in the Northeastern Conference. We have seen God's goodness in our education system through a remarkable increase in school enrollment compared to last year. We have seen God's goodness in the evangelistic exploits. As the numbers keep coming in, we anticipate a significant increase in our baptisms for this year as we keep adding to the church daily. We have seen God's goodness reflected in your faithfulness and generous contributions to his church and our community. Amid our accomplishments, we have faced some challenges and sadness, including the death of loved ones and some colleagues. But through it all, we continue to experience the power and presence of God. It is said, it is not joy that makes us grateful, but rather gratitude that makes us joyful. I am proud to be part of a conference that believes in and demonstrates this. Our respect and appreciation for one another bring positivity that shines even when times get rough. The prophet Joel warns against becoming complacent and self-centered, taking the goodness of God for granted. He reminds us that God is gracious, merciful, and full of compassion. He reminds us that our God has the power to restore our hope, our faith, our identity, and our joy. This is a powerful message and reminder for each of us during this Thanksgiving season. We can be confident that God restores and that we can embrace gratitude and a renewal in our lives. The Apostle Paul writes in 2 Corinthians 9.15, Thanks be to God for his indescribable gift. Indeed, we have a lot to be thankful for. But observe that Paul is here talking about something specific, someone specific. He is thanking God for Jesus, his greatest gift to the world. So in this Thanksgiving season, do show a spirit of gratitude, not just for what he has done, but for who he is, the keeper and sustainer of our souls. On behalf of my fellow administrators, Dr. Nicardo Delahaye, Executive Secretary, uh, Dr. Brian McDonald, CFO, Treasurer, Dr. Keith Arbery, Associate Executive Secretary, the administrative team, departmental directors, and our office staff, we wish you the gift of faith and the blessings of hope this Thanksgiving season. May every day be filled with God's uncountable blessings, memorable moments, and fulfilling happiness.